The external affairs minister Sushma Swaraj's visit to Pakistan along uh, she of course is there for the Heart of Asia summit and she now has met uh, with Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif in Islamabad. She's also going to be meeting advisor to Pakistan Prime Minister Sartaz Aziz in just a few minutes from now. And in fact, that meeting was scheduled for a 5.30. A joint statement is also expected thereafter. An all-important meeting between Sushma Swaraj and Sartaz Aziz expected in just a few minutes from now. In fact, she's already visited, uh, visited, uh, uh, she was there for the Heart of Asia Summit. She's all, already vis met uh, with the Prime Minister of Pakistan already. And Sushma Swaraj is there. It's extremely important because this comes after a long it is that India and Pakistan are once again really stepping up their interaction in a way. Of course, that meeting did take place in Bangkok between the NSAs of both the country. Today, Sushma Swaraj has already confirmed that Prime Minister Narendra Modi will be visiting Pakistan next year for the SARC summit. This is extremely important because this comes uh, more than a decade after any Prime Minister visited Pakistan. 2004 was the last time Indian Prime Minister Atal Bihari Vajpayee visited Pakistan and on in 2016, of course, Prime Minister Narendra Modi will be visiting Pakistan. Let me take that question directly to Shafiq, who's joining us uh, from Islamabad for more on that. Uh, Shafiq, uh, beginning with uh, the kind of announcement that has already been made by Sushma Swaraj, she did talk about how Prime Minister Modi is going to visit uh, Pakistan for the SARC summit. This, in a way, is important. Uh, I was talking about how uh, this comes more than a decade after any Indian Prime Minister visited Pakistan. Uh, this obviously is a sign of thaw, isn't it? Yes, of course, this is indeed a very, very big development. And this is actually the back channel diplomacy between the two countries. It worked. It worked. That is why Sushma Swaraj, the Indian external affairs minister who is in Islamabad and now talking or meeting Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif and later on is going to meet uh, her counterpart, Sata Aziz. So, so uh, it's all very positive development. Uh, there are many issues. There are many, many issues from Indian side and also from Pakistan side. But at least both the countries' leaders, they are sitting together. They are sharing the same table and talking all these important issues. And particularly, they will talk the, the, uh, the roadmap for the resumption of bilateral dialogue between the two countries. And they're expecting that this uh, talks between the two countries will continue in the coming months and uh, coming months and months. So it, it, it is very positive development and the announcement like when the Modi, the Indian Prime Minister, coming uh, or attending a SARC summit in Pakistan, uh, though the date, the date have not been announced yet. We don't know when the SARC summit will, 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 uh, will, will happen or will be held in Pakistan. But uh, it is expected that in, in the coming three, four months, it is going to be held, held in Islamabad. And if Narendra Modi is coming to Pakistan to attend it, it will be indeed a very positive, positive development. Like today's meeting of Sushma Swaraj with Nawaz Sharif and Sattar is important. So even it will be more and more important. And, and, and we, we, both the countries will discuss uh, different uh, issues and different uh, uh, framework to resume the bilateral dialogue, people-to-people -people contact, and finally... The visit of Narendra Modi to Pakistan, it will be a very, very positive step from the Indian side. And we are expecting that both the countries will have some good relation in the, in the coming future. Yes. That's right. Of course, uh, Shafiq, we'll talk about that in just a bit from now. Of course, uh, getting you a sense of what really happened earlier today. While addressing the Heart of Asia, Summit Sushma Swaraj said that it is time India and Pakistan display maturity over ties. Let me take this opportunity to extend our hand to Pakistan as well. It is time that we display the maturity and self-confidence to do business with each other and strengthen regional trade and cooperation. The entire world is watching and rooting for a change. Let us not disappoint them. For its part, India is prepared to move our cooperation at a pace which Pakistan is comfortable with. 